Hi all, Fat Andy yeah. Right, um, I'm going into Nicholas Edwards Park and um, we're going to go to the Parkside Cafe and have a uh, breakfast and uh, see what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Right, here we have Nicholas Everett's Park, as you can see there. Take a walk in here, really, really nice park. Um, broad's just over there to the right, where you can moor your boots up and um, people on uh, holiday can come. Really, really nice through there. There's a calf up here called Parkside Calf. So um, I'm gonna go have a look and uh, see what it's all about. I, I've never tried it here um, at the breakfast, so uh, I really don't know. Got some nice tennis courts over there. As you can see. See what we've got here, look. Banksy Vern platform. Um, it's installed by Nicholas Everett's Park. That's where Banksy done a painting. So we'll have a look. There you go. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. That's one of Banksy's, um, what he did is what they call the spraycation um, around Lowestoft there a couple of years ago now. Um, must be. But yeah, you can see that. Good old bit of artwork there. That's worth a few quid, I reckon. You can see it's all been protected by a bit of perspex and everything. Right, let's get on with it. The old uh, boulevard there, as you can see. Um, a bit of swimming pool in there. I should come down there as a kitty, but I don't think they use it anymore. Nice park over there for the kiddies and that to play on. Um, yeah, boot lake over there as well uh, in the distance. For exercise machines there, look. I don't know I could do with some of that. <laughs> Not a day though. Breakfast instead. Always bowling green there. Well kept lawns and everything. Looks lovely, didn't it? It's a lovely day today. Might have changed from the rain. And Broad's Bowls Club. Little monument there from uh, during World War II there, 1939 to 45. Coastal Forces Veterans Association. Old stuff museum there. Uh, I don't think that's open at the moment. Uh, open daily, free entry there. Uh, 1 pm to 4 pm. And that's just a little bit about who uh, Nicholas Everett was. Told you. Tells you all the bits about it and everything. See there. Yeah, sailing yachts from years ago. Just told you a bit about it. Up there in the old pond. Let's see, a, see a boot angle out up the broads. Um, lovely spice. We do all part boot racing and everything on a Thursday night in the summer. Uh, got the old clubhouse there. As you pan round, you can see there. See those buildings there with the chimneys on. So that used to be the old Moulton's years ago. And they converted into luxury flats and everything. But yeah, very nice. Right, let's get on and get this breakfast. Here we have it. Over at Park Cafe and Bar. Right, here we have the menu. Let's have a look what we've got. What we're after is the breakfast. You can see there. Um, full English breakfast, 9.95. Has two sausages, two bacon, two eggs, two hash browns, mushrooms, tomatoes, and baked beans. We can get the large for an extra two quid with an extra one of each. Oh, I'm not going to go for the large. <laughs> not a small one. We do a small one. There, they do a kids one. Kids breakfast on there. Toast, you can see there, everything is being done. Main courses, um, kids' menu, their main course, they do main courses, everyone lunch. 
yeah looks really good never had one here before so um i really really don't know and then you got your stuff on the back and everything you can see right let's get ordered Right, here we are. The English breakfast. Right, um, yeah. So this breakfast um, was all together, the total was £13.75. We had £9.95 for the English breakfast. Um, extra black pudding was one fifty. Um, it did say a pound on the menu, but yeah, it was 150 it's because I was cost a little. And uh, yeah, tea, tea for one, um, £2.30, and a total of 13 75 But the tea is refillable on limited as far as I'm aware. I've um, got a pot here, so uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Get the old beans. Very, very nice and hot. the white yeah looking good eggs yeah nicely done yeah can't complain about them right let's get into the old sausage oh yeah definitely a box of sausage that is it really really is looks nice Hmm. Well, that was lovely. A proper butcher's banger. Very nice indeed. Bacon. Yeah, nicely cooked. Oh, a lovely taste. Hmm. Two beans. Lovely. Can't knock that at all. Nice and hot. Nice beans. I know they're controversial on the breakfast, but um, yeah. Mmm. Has brains well cooked and nice and crispy. Um, eggs. Get into the eggs. Yeah, lovely. Nice and cooked. Try the black bread. That's a black pudding as you see there. That is nice. Tomatoes. Nicely cooked. Mm. Fantastic. Get your toast with it. Um, can have fried bread. You have bread and butter. White or brown. You get the shots. Very, very nice. Mushrooms as well. If you get the kiddies breakfast, you don't get the mushrooms. Cold rubbish. That is really enjoyable. I can't knock these sausage. Absolutely fantastic. You can see that. Beautiful. Nice and crispy toast.
Rope and then he's finished now, and that is absolutely delightful. Wow. Mm. Delicious. Well, well, that was really nice. So let's uh, come away now. And we'll uh, sum this up and uh, give it a score. Right, I'm back in the car after that breakfast. Absolutely lovely breakfast that was. Um, the sausage was gorgeous with bacon and everything really about it. But let's uh, just sum this up really. Um, £13.75. Um, now a lot of people just say, well, wow, that's deep. Um, but I mean, you're in a holiday um, area. And um, you, you got to remember, really, you know, we got tourists and everything what come there, so that is a more of a bit of a tourist area. Um, but saying that, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, the actual full English breakfast, nine ninety five. All right, the black pudding, like I said, a quid. They charge you one fifty. I never queried it. I didn't realise until I looked at the seat up the table. Um, quid one fifty. Was it worth it? Um, no, I don't think it was in my mind. The black pudding, to be quite honest. Um, tea for one, two pound thirty. A lot of people might say, "Well, that's expensive for a cup of tea." But then, looking at it, you get a pot and a tea, a little pot of tea. Um, all right, they were small cups, but then you get another pot of boiling water as well. So you could get. I should imagine you get two or three good. Or a good couple of big mugs of tea out of that, I would think, and that was nice. So, uh, yeah, two thirty this day and age, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. I would like to send, to be quite honest, that breakfast at nine ninety five and a mug of tea thrown in. That's my personal opinion. But coming away from that, um, I, for the taste of the breakfast, I'll give it a ten. I can't knock that one little iota the flavour, the taste, the beans were nice, the bacon was nice, the sausage, the mushrooms um, even the hash browns though you know, we can take it or leave it with hash browns, that is controversial should they be on a breakfast, shouldn't they be on a breakfast, I don't know at the end of the day um, you know, uh, tomatoes nice and fresh, cooked, cooked nicely um, you know, we can't, uh, black pudding, that weren't worth 150 in my mind a bit of black pudding but that was nice at the end of the day I can't knock that um, so yeah but for the taste I'm going to give a 10 but the price I'm going to give it an 8 for the price right? because I think I'd have liked to have seen that 9.95 all in to be fair um, but yeah that is what it is isn't it? so um, if anybody really is visiting this way, um, if you're on holiday, um, anything like that, um, you got a boot on the board, you're coming down, check it out. I mean, that's not just the breakfast they do, you can see there from the menu. I never really looked at the prices of rubber stuff on that menu. I mean, I have scanned over it so you good people can have a look if you want. But um, it's very nice, it's very clean, 
and um, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it so um, a 10 out of 10 there for flavour I can't knock that uh, you know on the taste but a good breakfast and nice butcher sausages as well I can't knock it right there it is Everett Park Cafeteria on there if you visit or live in the area you haven't tried it yet you know give it a bash um, I can't knock it really uh, £13.75 anyway um, if you like this thumbs up comments below what's your opinion I know I'll get some people on here saying well it is expensive and yeah I do agree to a certain point there is other places you can get breakfast what are really good for 7 or 8 quid 6 quid 7 quid 8 quid just remember you're in a tourist area here and you've got the people on the broads and that's a nice setting as well it's in a lovely setting um, and it was a nice day for once so I sat outside but anyway yeah um, whatever your comments are you know everyone's got their own opinion um, and if you didn't subscribe yet please consider doing so to help the channel and I'll catch you lovely people in the next one thanks for watching cheers